okay. Here we are today trying to get get everything prepared for the winter time around here. It's like a lot of things people don't think about. And I found, discovered that the battery on my Explorer over there is dead, so I'm going to jump it off so I can get it around to the shop so I can so I can hook up the uh, battery chargers and get it good and charged up so that's what we get for not driving for not uh, driving the Explorer for a while the battery is sitting there and went dead on it so I mean and it don't take very long at all for cold weather to to uh, wipe out a battery if you're not if you're not using it. So I'm just going to try to get the vehicles cranked up, get the ATVs in the shop, so I can plug up the battery maintainer or battery char trickle chargers to them. So, let's see, now I got the, hook up my battery charger and my jumper cable so I can get this, get the Explorer cranked up enough to get it to them down to the sh shop to work on it. Hopefully, hopefully everything won't take long, won't Hopefully it'll charge back up and won't have to buy another battery, but there's always the possibility of having to buy a cold weather, either the first cold of the year or, or even cold, first cold weather usually is, if you got a weak battery, this is the time of the year they'll show up, so let me see if this thing's going to crank or not okay that wasn't too bad but maybe now I got to take it down to the shop and put a good good slow charge on it so hopefully that it'll, hopefully that, uh, that now we, we can start driving it, and if we start driving it now, we, at least my battery won't be dead on it. So let's go down to the shop and see what, what we can put the battery cables on the explorer. some of the maintenance trying to get done before it gets too cold out so then my red truck there 91 red 91 Chevrolet truck there it's got the fuel pump has went bad on it so that's another project hopefully I can get done during the winter time and another project is I've never really got work working on my uh, cargo trailer so we can go start running going to mud bogs and stuff next year. Hopefully I can get 
a lot of that done this winter. And looks like the wind has blowed over my fence and that I've got to put up. I swear it just well Delisa and neither Delisa or I have been had a good summer. Things that we should have already had done. We've piddled around and we've not felt good so it's it's kind of been a bad year all the way around for us so now I got to find my battery charger and see what I do with it. There it is. If nothing else I have got to clean clean up my jungle here which is my shop I can't hardly get in the door of it now so that's another big project I got to do this winter alrighty got the battery charger out right here now I need to get the cord Maybe this, hopefully I got enough cord off here to get to the truck. Yeah. I normally tease about my Ford and the Chevrolet and all this stuff, but this time, this is not a Ford deal or a Chevrolet deal. This is operator being too lazy to charge the batteries. Once I get it charged up, then I'll clean the post. I'll come back out in a little while and clean the post and I'll off the battery there. I see that needs to be done. yellow tab on it I'm just gonna put it on slow trickle charge just doing it with a two amp let it just sit here for several hours so it, so it can pick up the low uh, pick up the low voltage and hopefully that won't burn the battery up by putting it trying to do it too fast too hard too hard too fast but Here's my red, my 91 Chevrolet. It's got the, like I said, it's got a, the fuel pumps went bad on it. And I'm going to have to pull the bed off of it. Well, you can either pull the bed off of it or drop the tank out of it to change the fuel pump. But the only rush this truck's got is this little spot right here. And I already have the replacement panel to put in there. So, the way I'm going to do it is, I'm, gonna, when I t I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and take the bed off of it, set it out here, put the fuel pump and all on it, and then I'm going to probably repaint it next spring when it gets warm again. I mean, it don't look bad like it is if it's washed up and all, but got paint popping off of it in places and all that, but... Basically, there's no, there's basically no, no rust at all. That's, that is super rare for a 91 model Chevrolet. I mean, even the wheel wells or nothing else has got any rust in it. And I think the only reason that one spot over here rusted is because it was a spot that I had to, that I had to repair. It had a little bent spot in it so I had to repair it and I think the water got behind got in behind that bondo and that's what's and that's really about the only bondo the truck's got in it so 
I think that's what caused the rust in it, was water got behind the bondo. And the Explorer here, I don't know why we haven't been driving it. We just, Delisa's been sick, and my preferred ride is, is the show has the GMC up there, so we haven't been driving the Explorer very much, but now that it's getting winter time, it is all wheel drive, so and and we won't be it's a we don't have as much money involved in this one as we do the, uh, the GMC, so it's got good tires and all on it, so for the most part, a lot of our driving this winter time will be driving this. So we don't have to get the salt and everything underneath the uh, the GMC to cause more, uh, to make it the wheel rust, rust out or whatever else. And we usually save it for long road trips and stuff like that. So. We can run a little small miles around town with the Explorer, keep the miles off it for road miles, off of the GMC for road miles.